Well, hello again and welcome back to my channel. So when I was organizing all that stuff up there, I found a whole bunch of these two by two squares. So I am going to scrapbook this layout and I'm going to try to figure out what to do with these. So I was gonna cut them diagonally and put them on a page, but that didn't quite work. So now I'm thinking I'm gonna do something. I think I'm gonna maybe fold them. I don't really know yet. So all I know is I'm gonna use this background, this picture, and these squares. So let me do a little bit of thinking and I will come right back and show you what I came up with. All right, so it is dried. Now I'm just gonna come in here and just You can see I used a lot of glue. I'm gonna trim that off. Trim this off because just had a just a couple of them. Now you can come in with some foam dots if you want, um, just to make sure that they stay up. I'm not gonna do that, but just a suggestion. Get my little piece of plastic and I'm just gonna take them now this is, has got um, I ordered these bottles off of Amazon a long time ago and um, this one is alcohol and water and paint. There is no shimmer in that, I do not believe. So that's just my black splash. Like I said, I don't want to throw it away because that would just be wasteful, but um, now this one is, there's no acrylic paint in here. This is just some green shine. So it's going to kind of tint it green, but it's going to have some shimmer in there. just to kind of pick up on the green in the paper. And then I'm gonna try, I really am trying to use this one up as much as possible. So I'm gonna really heavy hand it because it's, it will dry clear. It is just gonna have massive amounts of shimmer in it. And it will mix in with the other splatters. And really get some over here. And this is why my desk and everything up there and all over the place is covered in splatters. Now this one has, again, it's the alcohol, paint, and shimmer mix, and water. And I thought this one was, so this is not gonna have a lot of shimmer in it, um, but it is going to be a nice amount of purple added to the background. And, oh, and I'm kinda like, you know, flipping this one so that it's, Really. All right. And that's. Carefully remove that and I'm just going to wipe it off. Because that's reusable. Now sometimes I just throw them away because I, you know, I have a lot of them. Move this like so. All right, so I'm gonna do just a little bit of journaling right here. Um, I gotta figure out a title. So I'm not sure where that's gonna go. Let's see 
if I can make anything out of this. Um, I'm messing with these. All right, so maybe I'll put my title there and we'll just do blood drive. So we'll just see. Oh. Uh oh. Well, those are not even letters. Let's number or whatever. So yeah, so maybe, <laughs> so I'll do my journaling right here because there are no splatters there. So we'll just do that real quick. We'll do it with my favorite pen. I'm gonna say that is, this is gonna be 2009. I'm just gonna write 2009. You can usually tell by my hair. All right. So that's it. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Click that subscribe button below and help me get to 100 subscribers. And I will see you guys later. Bye. All right, so uh, after much deliberation and trial and error, I have decided to go with pinwheels, <laughs> which are very fun. So what I do is take a piece of paper, and I just cut in to the corners, just roughly too, obviously. Okay, then you have the little shape like this. And then you just take one side and you fold it in to the center. And you fold it into the center. And the same side on each of the triangles. And you just fold it all together into the middle. And there you have a pinwheel. Then I'm going to take my brads. Since we have lots of fun brads. And I'm just going to um, Okay, so that oh grab my pokey doo. And right in the center there, I'm just going to punch a hole. I'm going to use the bread to hold it all down. And there you go. So that's pinwheel. So as you've seen that, so we just go right in the center of all of these, poke the hole, take the bread and shove it through. Make sure all of your corners are down. And there you go. All right, so I will continue making some pinwheels and come back and show you when we'll get started on the layout. All right, so I've got them all done. And all I'm doing is I'm taking now and I'm bending the back up, just I'm bending that brad around itself to make them kind of 
pop a little bit. And I'm bending them as far as it'll go right now um, so that when I glue them down, I will kind of flatten them back out a little bit. But this is just for more um, dimension since I flattened each side. I didn't leave it bowed. All right. So now I got to see um, kind of how I want to place them. And they, there is an odd number on here. So just in case anybody wanted to know. So I'm thinking like I like that. And I just I mean it's not really going to be much more on the embellishment side. Because to be fair the um, the pinwheels are going to take the show on that. So I'm going to get this lined up straight with my ruler. And then we're going to get my glue and I use um, just art glitter glue and a fine liner. I'm going to put a nice little amount down. I'm going to cover this guy up in the background. <laughs> and then So, and obviously when I, I'm going to let it dry and then we're going to come back in here and um, we'll kind of pop them up a little more. So I'm just going to kind of randomly get them around and I'm going to turn them because I don't really want them all to be the same way. So. You don't want, you know, you want to make a, you know, you know, if they're all the same way, then there's nothing, there's nothing interesting. So, yeah, I'm using quite a lot of glue. I'm just getting them all put down. And they're start clustering them over each other and see what that looks like. And then put this one here. And we're gonna put this pink one up here. And then maybe have to come back in. I might have to make some more. Yeah. Just see. <laughs> that little guy in there, and then I maybe, maybe I got just enough, huh? All right, so I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna put my lid back on here. I'm gonna let that dry, and then we'll come back in and we'll fluff them up. One other thing that I did want to mention, um, I did mix metals. I did the silver and the gold. That does not bother me. Uh, I am going to come in and splatter. I know that these um, pinwheels, some of the, the pattern paper is, it's like a, it was a painter set that I had gotten from Stampin' Up! a long time ago. So there are like splattered paint and paint swatches on them. So I'm going to come in and splatter some of my homemade, I'm gonna use the pink, and this is what, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that on camera. I used the Pearl X and the Pearl X powders to give it some shimmer, um, like you can really see in, in this one, the shimmer that's in there, and that's just water and the shimmer. Um, ones like this, this has got alcohol, rubbing alcohol, water, acrylic paint and then some of the powder to give it more of a opaque look um, to where this is translucent and when it dries all you can see is a little shimmer on it so and I'm just trying to use these up because <laughs> I made these a long time ago before I started um, investing in like the distress inks and the, the Heidi, Heidi Swap color shines and stuff so I'm going to get these used up um, this one I had two golds and I combined them into one. So this one I'm going to finish up using a little bit of that. 
and find some other colors that match and I'll do that on camera but I was just letting you guys know that I've mixed all the colors. <laughs> 